So, I haven't been to the library again yet. Um, I went to visit my family and I got some books from them. Uh, some of them are from a course my sister was taking, sociology, so I wanted to share those. Um, the first one is A Human Algorithm, How Artificial Intelligence is Redefining Who We Are by Flynn Coleman. Um, artificial intelligence has the capacity to transform our health and well-being, alleviate poverty, and reveal the mysteries of intelligence and consciousness. It will also challenge our personal beliefs and our social economic order. International human rights attorney Flynn Coleman argues that to realize AI's transcendent potential, we must use our moral imagination to ensure that human rights, empathy, and equity are core principles of emerging technologies. A guidebook to reimagining life in the era of intelligent technology the human algorithm is a clarion call for moving conscientiously into a new frontier of our own design. Okay, so that one sounded interesting. Uh, this one's a bit weird. Uh, the new physics for non-scientists taking the quantum leak leap by Fred Allen Wolf. I'm not really sure what this is going to be about. Um, a fascinating journey from fundamental concepts of physics to the furthest limits of science and imagination. Taking the quantum leap, entertain, leap entertainingly traces the history of physics from the observations of the early Greeks through the discoveries of Galileo and Newton to the dazzling theories of such scientists as Planck, Einstein, Bohr, and Bohm. I'm saying all that wrong. This humanized view of science opens up the mind-stretching visions of how quantum mechanics, God, human thought, and will are related and provide profound implications for our understanding of the nature of reality and our relationship to the cosmos. And then the other ones that I thought were part of that were actually just quotes of like, you know, praising the book. <sighs> okay. And this other one is Everyday Sexism, the project that inspired a worldwide movement, Laura Bates. It's very colorful. I like the colors. Um, it doesn't really have like a back thing. It's kind of annoying. Well, um, a must read for every woman, pioneering. Uh, yeah, I don't know. No thanks, so, I mean, it's kind of obvious what it's about. Um, okay, so this one is Rising Out of Hatred, The Awakening of a Former White Nationalist by Ellie Saslow. Um, and it says on the back, Ellie Saslow, Rising Out of Hatred, is the powerful story of a transformation in the intensely personal saga of one man who eventually disavowed everything he was taught to believe at tremendous personal cost. Derek Black grew up at the epicenter of white nationalism. His father for founded Stormfront, the largest racist community on the internet, and his godfather, David Duke, was a KKK grand wizard. Then he went to college. Some students protested Black's presence on campus for, forcing him to reconcile for the first time with the ugliness of his beliefs. Other students found the courage to reach out to him, including an Orthodox Jew who invited Black to attend weekly Sabbath dinners. It was because of those dinners and the wide-ranging relationships formed at that table that Black started to question the prejudice behind his worldview. As white nationalism infiltrated the political mainstream, Black confronted the damage he had done. With great empathy and narrative verve, Slaslow asked what Black's story can tell us about America's increasingly divided nature. This book is to help us understand the American moment and to help us better understand one another. Okay, and there's one left. Um, How to Be an Anti-Racist by Abram X. Kendi. I may have read this. I'm not sure I can remember. There's a few different ones. Um, yeah. Oh, it says it's updated with a new preface. Okay. 
Um, Anti-racism is a transformative concept that reorients and re-energizes the conversation about racism, and even more fundamentally, points us towards liberating new ways of thinking about ourselves and one another. In How to Be an Anti-Racist, Ibram X. Kendi takes readers through a widening circle of anti-racist ideas from the most basic concepts to visionary possibilities that will help readers see all forms of racism clearly, understand their poisonous consequences, and work to oppose them in our systems and in ourselves. The paperback edition contains a new preface about the author's life and the reception of the 2019 hardcover edition of this book, as well as annotations and other text updates. Okay, annotations, really? I'm not really seeing annotations. Oh well, okay. So I've got all these books. Oh, let me fix this. Uh, I'm gonna put them all the spine. Um, yeah. So all these books. Um, I don't know when I'm gonna get to them because I still have a lot of fiction books from um in the library. So we'll kind of see how it goes. All right. Thank you. Bye.